Good morning chickens, it's Tuesday morning and it's quarter to eight. It's so cold outside, so I'm gonna take her outside while I see some the chickens and uh, yeah, enjoy. It's so cold. You see the frost? Crunchy, munchy. Probably shouldn't be outside in just my slippers. I know, I hear you, I hear you. I've left Poppy inside, she's scratching the door. is frozen. Everything is frozen. It's such a cold winter where I've been so far. I'm only like two days in. The ground is completely frozen. Solid. Morning, girls. Oh, the door's frozen again. Got you. Got you. Go on, Emu. Got you too. No eggs. Too cold. And they're molting. It's time not to produce eggs when they're molting. Oh, it's flipping freezing. Oh, chickens. God, I don't live outside. Oh, coffee, I'm sorry. Coming out. What's wee wee? Come on. Hiya chickens, <clears throat> excuse me I've got a cold, um, so yesterday I filmed a frosty morning scene for you and then nothing else because nothing else fun happened and it is now Wednesday evening, it's half past four, I picked James up from school and I was just going to make some homemade mince pies when I thought I should share this with you, you might like to see this. Um, so currently I have my short crust pastry chilling in the fridge and tip for mummy make it in the food processor if you've got one so for 350 grams of plain flour 175 of cold hard butter then put it on setting number one on your food processor to make it to crumbs then add a tablespoon of water at the time between six and eight till it starts to combine and you'll know because the motor will start working hard on your food processor and just take it out, squish it into a bowl and shove it in the fridge. Hooray! No rubbing through required. Um, so that's chilling for half an hour. It's coming out in 10 minutes. Um, so I shall roll it out and then I've not laboured long and hard to make my own mincemeat. 
I've got Asda's chosen by you um, and that's actually left over from last year what I didn't use last year so that'll be that so the plan is I've got my big round cutter I think I'm going to do the scalloped edge and then squish the pastry into the pan put a teaspoon of filling and then cut a star out of the um, pastry and put that on the top so there's little gaps around the side because I think that'll look really cute um, and then it doesn't matter if it blurbles up because it's not going to separate the two bits of pastry if that makes sense it's got room to move so that's the plan Stan so Grandad Don gave us his sturdy bread maker which is Chumay's balls however I made a failure of a loaf the other day I don't know what happened it just it didn't happen so I chopped it up immediately made a bread and butter pudding with it and I've made this beauty today so that should do that's where the mixer blade was that started to come out by the way Grandad. I wiggled and I jiggled and I won so that's tomorrow's bread hi there so I have sprayed my pan with cooking spray the bread and butter pudding's out that's what it looks like I think the sauce is separated slightly or it might be too thin don't know we'll see the proof of the pudding will be your Uncle Stephen's tasting and I have my um, lovely chilled short crust out the fridge so I'm going to roll it out cut out some circles put them in there cut out some others I'm thinking I'm not gonna need the whole of this for 12 pies we'll see we'll see how far we get prepare for the montage we're gonna need a montage. Um, well, not so much a montage as a fast forward, really. for 10 or 12 minutes and this is how they turned out they just kind of started to colour around the edges of the stars um, but they look pretty good don't they and then with what we had left over some of the leftover dough because there was tons James has made his own mince pies and some jam tarts because we ran out of mince meat 
so that's like pretty much a full jar of mincemeat so they're still super hot we'll let them cool and maybe have them with a cup of tea later